What's up everybody, Derek here, and we are at Bass Pro Shops today, as you can see right there, and we are in a parking lot full of boats. They are everywhere. There's probably, oh, I don't know, 100 boats out here, but what I plan on doing is going inside of Bass Pro here and doing a walkthrough, just a little overview of the boats, their features, their specs, the pricing, all the goodies that are in there. Because I went to YouTube the other day and I went to try to find some information on the boats and there was basically nothing. I, sure, I could watch some reviews or, you know, it, it would take a lot longer, but I just kind of wanted to see the boats and what they look like basically as if I was walking in the store for the most part. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in there and check out these boats, kind of go through them a little bit and see what they've got to offer. Because I own a John boat and maybe in the future I might want to upgrade and then I'll have a little bit of knowledge going forward of what Bass Pro Shops really has to offer. So let's go inside and start checking out these boats and we're mainly going to be checking out the fiberglass fishing boats and uh, or bass boats and the aluminum boats. So let's go inside. All right, we're going to start right over here with this tracker. It's a tracker. 2020 Pro 160. So it's 16 foot 2, 40 horsepower, 5 foot 10 beam, 1400 pounds basically, and three people. Ooh, $14,000. That's quite a bit. And there's a 170 right next to it that's almost identical. It's just got a little bit different deck, as you can see. Looks like this one. It's got a slive oil right there, rod holders, decent deck. I don't know what size trolling motor that is. That is a 45 thrust, little video thing. Got storage down underneath. There you got tubes for your rods. Decent leather seats. Just pretty basic. Another live oil back here. Little bitty old gas tank, six gallons. And it comes with a 40 horse, so it's not bad for how much it weighs at 1,400 pounds. But as you can see, this 170 right here has a 50, so another 10 horsepower. A lot bigger tank. That's a 12 gallon tank, so it's got double the capacity. Oh, yeet. Get that open. Man, these are good sized live wells. All riveted in. Decent seats. Got a key entry right there. Like a bait well, basically, up here. So this is kind of like a crappie. That 160 and 170 look like they're a crappie. And you got good size storage up in there. And another 45 thrust here. And this 170 is 16 foot 8. 50 horsepower. Right at 12 gallons. 6 foot 5 beam. And 1800 pounds. So it's another 400 pounds just for this one with basically an increase of hardly anything and two thousand dollar increase this one is 14 this one's 16 so not much bigger for this one for two thousand dollars extra is it really worth it now we got the 175 which is just a hair bigger than the 170 17 7 75 horsepower so Another 15 horsepower over the top. And the other one had the uh, 12 gallon. This one's got a 20, right at 22. Seven foot five beam, so a little bit bigger beam. And a lot more weight. 2,153 pounds, but this one can hold four people at $21,000. And if you look at it, they look basically about the same. good looking boats but they have the same size thrust another live well whoa look at the storage in here quite a bit of storage right there good size keeping all your lures 
you got different placement for the seats good nice seats cup holder up front you can even place the seats back here if you want to it holds four people so there's the four seats right down here got a little tote box there good size plastic live well the other ones had the aluminum gas tank and a big battery tray so if you wanted to upgrade your battery you could get away with oh a 24 volt trolling motor you got your starting battery location right there so you could upgrade to a 24 volt if you wanted to but that 75 horse motor but this one is a lot bigger of a boat compared to the other 170 Here's, here's a protein 190 so we're getting even bigger here so here's the 190 the tournament edition it's 18 foot 7 long 125 horsepower that's a good size engine 21 and a half gallon 7 foot 5 beam 2327 pounds so it's about 200 pounds more than this 175 over here somewhere around there and four people at 25 almost twenty-six thousand dollars, would that be worth it in comparison to other boats that are in here i don't know that'd be something for anybody else to kind of decide it's got a 70 thrust so not bad on the size of the trolling motor but this one's got a recessed tray with a little hdpe or polyurethane with the cup holder and all that Wow, look at the storage in this thing. Look at that. All the trays. It goes way up there. And then you've got cup holders back in here and little trays right there. Fire extinguisher here. Cup holders here. It's like another little live well that somebody dumped some trail mix in. But is this one still locked? Yeah, that one's locked. Is this one on the side locked? No, it's not. So this is basically what the other side looks like. You got your rod tubes and your holders here. And it's nice how they got all this cut out, this plastic. So it's not going to really bang up your rods really bad. Got rod keepers there. Let's see. Uh oh, you got your battery charger right there for the three bank. Not a bad looking console either. Little tray right there. Got the plastic live well. That's a big live well too. There you go, there's the, there's the big gas tank three batteries so 24 volts is about all you can get away with if you have a starting battery for the motor not a bad looking boat oh this is a 115 the 195 so even bigger it just keeps getting bigger by like fives it seems like 18 7 150 horsepower so we're getting good size engine now 30 gallon tank eight foot two beam i believe this one was seven foot five over here 2541 so another 200 pounds and still four people only though uh 30 000, almost thirty-one thousand dollars. dollars you can definitely tell the difference in the width if you look at this one and look at this one a lot wider so this one will probably have a lot better track and it's got the same recessed pedal up front, same trolling motor. This one has rod storage here for the passenger, so you can just basically put those in and bungee them up. This one's got a good rod storage locker. We didn't get to see it on the other boat because it was locked, and it's got the plastic holder. Looks 
like a little divider on this one the other one was just way open all the way to the front of the boat but it's got the cup holders and the little bins just like the other boat yeah good size little storage area for all your fishing loaders and everything so really they didn't have to put in this extra hatch right here but they did and they just built put a divider in and that was locked so there's another rod locker over there and another little live oil tank these I, I like these little live oil tanks it's pretty sweet plus it's a good place for a cooler also if you wanted to which actually i do believe this is a cooler it's not a little live oil tank like on some of those other crappie ones all right there's your three bank charger got another nice dash in here it's a nice boat got a storage area back here with plastic bin there's a live well that's more of a bass boat type live well right there kind of weird how you can see the other side right here i don't know why they did it like that oh they did it right here oh because you can put a sliding glass in here that's why so you can put a divider for each side that's what this slit is for just kind of look funky there's your bigger bigger tank that's a big tank and this one goes back a little bit further this one you can definitely put a upgraded 36 volt trolling motor in it's got room for four batteries in here and then you got your 150 Merc four stroke I bet this boat gets it it's a good looking boat all right now we're going up again in price now we've got the 2020 z18 it's an 18 foot 8 175 horsepower 40 gallon a 7 foot 10 beam 3200 pounds and it holds four people for thirty-five thousand dollars. this is a sweet looking boat it's a pretty boat real pretty boat Look at this rod look at this storage for all these plastics and your totes and your boxes and just about everything that you'd possibly need even cup holders it's got a drain built in the bottom that is a lot of room right there here's your rod storage Quite a bit of rod storage you can probably at least put a seven foot eight foot rod definitely in here no no problem and then it's going to be the same on this other side but it's locked and you got your cooler right here and it's a monster cooler got a place for your pliers and scissors cup holder this one might i think this one has the optional passenger console with the screw ends here nice rod storage here cup holder beautiful seats and there's the tank 40 gallons that's a big boy i kind of like it where it's positioned a little bit further up towards the front kind of position it but we get a better ride that way it's just a clean clean good looking boat and you got your live wells in here with your divider. I mean, it's perfect. Put a big bass on this side and all your other bass on the other. Good storage bin. This one's probably, yep, yeah, it's removable. So you can take it out if you put all your plastics or your rain gear, or just whatever you decide to put in there. And this will be, should be the batteries. Oh man, look at all that storage. Tons of storage in this one. 
for back here if you need to put extra batteries back here. And then another tote that's removable here. But I'm kind of surprised it only has a 150. I would think it would be a little bit bigger than that. The Z20. This is getting into your elite pro tournament fishermen. So, this is a $50,000 boat for the most part. Take that in consideration. So it's a 20 foot two with a 250 horsepower, a 50 gallon, seven foot 10 beam, 4,000 pounds, and four people. But it is a sweet, everything you could possibly need out on the lake kind of bass boat. This one has a 225 on it, Mercury Pro XS. That looks like a monster engine. I bet this boat does easily over 70. And let's take a look at the inside. It's got a big storage hatch here. Oh man, even more of an upgrade than the other, the 18. And these are removable, looks like. That is some serious organization right there with the drain. Yeah, that is a nice hatch. Extinguisher over here, got your motor carrier there. This is a nice, and then of course, it's got a Minn Kota, the nice recessed tray, and everything. Got your up down trim on the uh, for the outboard there. You got your eye pilot. I'm guessing that's probably a 112, yeah, 112 with the transducer built in. Beautiful console. And it's got the hot foot. Beautiful seats. Nice tray here. It is removable. And the gas tank's right underneath it. Perfect placement for it. Live well is a little bit more away and you got to tuck away for your measuring board. These are some deep live wells in this one. You got your totes, just like on the 18. Another tote. It's a 1754 SC, 17 foot one long, can hold a 75 horsepower engine, can, has a nine and a half gallon tank, it's 21 foot six long, six foot six wide at the beam, 1760 pounds is its package weight, and it can hold five people, $17,000. No frills, just simple. Very simple. It's even got plastic seats. They just started up an outboard. But let's look at this live well real quick. Just unbuckles. Got a live well. Oh, it's the hatch locked and the hatch is locked. But it's just basic. With a 60 horsepower engine. Not bad. All right, here we got the ultimate duck boat. 
gigging boat just all around with the uh, elevated deck of course I believe it's removable but it would take some work and it is aluminum yeah it's aluminum so it's gonna be decently heavy as big as it is but this is a 2020 Grizzly 2072 CC Sportsman 21 foot 5 inches long 150 horsepower max 19 gallon fuel tank 8 foot 6 wide weighs almost 3,500 pounds God, can hold 5 people and it's $31,000 at that price you could have gotten one of those tracker boats and gotten a lot faster than this thing but it looks sweet if you look at it big old engine on it All kinds of hatches this whole deck is nothing but open space open space you don't even need to look in there for the most part except let's see what size trolling motor this thing has on it it has a 55 thrust live well I mean it's just open compartments this whole thing no seat so you're standing but look at that Look at this big old deck. All right, and here's a bare bones 1860. Nothing on it. And it is $5,000. It's an 1860 John. It's 18.1, can hold a 60 horsepower engine, seven foot beam, 1,600 pounds is how much it weighs, and it can take a max capacity of eight people. Huh? Eight people. That is the most that I've even seen. For five, six thousand dollars. Wow. That is crazy. And then we've got the 1448, which is a lot smaller, but it's pretty sweet. V haul. It's a 1448 John. It's a 14 footer. Can hold a 25 horsepower outboard. It's six foot beam. 1,071 pounds is how much it weighs and it can hold three people for $4,200. Not bad, there's nothing to it. It's just got a little deck. I mean, it's a little bitty boat, but. Here's some of the 1436 John boats if you're interested in getting it in a John boat. Nothing in them. As you know, there's no hatches, no none of that, no special stuff, but 13 foot 10, they can hold a 15 horsepower motor that hold 315 pounds is how much they weigh they can hold three people and in canada two people i don't know what's going on there but a thousand forty five dollars which is not bad for just a way to get out on the water a thousand bucks well i definitely learned something from bass pro those boats are expensive super expensive but if you're gonna buy one of those boats you need to find more information than just a video like this you need to research and find all the problems associated with those boats the maintenance the price you know associated down the road insurance all that good stuff you need to figure that out before you buy one but if you really want one of those boats and you work hard you definitely deserve it but if it was me and I was buying a boat from Bass Pro right now I don't think I'd be buying one from inside, not a tracker, not a nitro, but one of these outside trackers, the green, army green ones. It's a blank slate. I'm a do-it-yourself kind of guy that likes to customize stuff. That thing, I could do whatever I wanted to and make it my own little bass boat. I just read that one holds nine people. It's got a 150 on it. That thing probably does 60 miles an hour at least. So you could go to the lake with that. It's, like twenty thousand twenty something thousand dollars so you want something to go to the lake on and be a little bit pinched on your budget a little bit there's the boat if you want to save a little bit of money compared to the ones inside but let me know what you guys think i'd love to hear from you guys and thanks for watching and subscribe if you haven't already like this video if you liked it and i'll see you guys in the next one